we fighting for the same goal to put this city on the map. Columbus got a voice the world need to hear. And I'm, I'm rocking with whoever trying to put it on. Simple as that. It's definitely our time, you know what I mean? We get in there, we break in, you know what I mean? And we go our way through there and then it... <sighs> it's a lot of good music now. And it ain't, it ain't everybody rapping in their basement or in their closet now. And people spending that money to go get that, yeah. I feel like it's coming together finally, man. You feel me? Like, the people that's really serious about it, the results are shown. A lot that then really went on in Ohio, you feel me, that people then slept on. Everybody looking at each other as competition. What are we competing for? What are we competing for? No, no, Columbus ain't built that way. I don't think Columbus is ever going to get behind one person. Even if they do, like, it's, it's, it don't last long. Like, everybody, like I said, the, the, the Jerome move was a great move. Tate Fresh was on Empire last year. Like, nobody paid attention to, Tate Fresh took his mama to the BT Awards. Like, nobody seen that. Like, you know, um, Luciano goes hard. He spends his own money. Wallaby goes hard. He's everywhere. I don't think... I think it's, it's, it's an envy, like, oh, I can't move like he moves, so I'm gonna judge how he moves instead of really supporting how he moves. The crab in a barrel uh, thing is a big thing. A lot of people don't wanna see the next man be higher than them or be on another level. They wanna, oh, you doing good, but all right, come back down. You higher than me, you feel me? It's a dog eat dog. Everybody play for keeps in the city, so. The support system is all right. It just go off with, if another nigga support you, if, if I support a nigga or if I post or do anything. It should just be the same way back. You should expect that shit back, but a lot of days you don't get that shit. I know it's a lot of people just working that were examples for me, you know what I'm saying? But I can't just put it as, okay, these were some pioneers. These, you not from Columbus if you don't know these niggas. And da, da, da. I, can't, I can't say that because people don't take the time out to even research or pay enough attention to the cats that's putting in the work in the underground and laying down that foundation. The reason why a lot of people don't support underground artists is because now there's a lot of people that's trying to be in the industry, so they probably feel like if they support somebody that's taken away from their own craft, you know? That's my own personal opinion. That's how I feel. That's when the hating comes, for real, and nobody really want to see nobody do better than the next man, for real, and I think it just be on some shit like that, for real, honestly. You know, we still got the, the rappers that's not supportive of each other because they too big or they, they too bougie or whatever. I mean, this city is bred to hate, but it's like, when you never had nothing, you don't know how to appreciate something. Kinda, you can't blame some of these cats because nobody in Columbus wants to be from Columbus, you know what I mean? They all sound like they're from somewhere else. Like, I hear cats talking about trapping, but we this in Columbus, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? I see cats doing all these other dances. We hit the wacky wood. We do everything. Nobody wants to brand all culture. You know what I mean? We say son. You know what I mean? What up, bro? Shit like that. And nobody wants to brand that culture. So if you're trying to be like everybody else, then why should somebody here respect you? You know what I mean? Honestly, Ruffle, you, got, you got to like their music, though. Yeah. I can't. It ain't just, I'm, I'm going to support you just because you're doing it. I still gotta like your music. And now if you if you work hard, if you working harder and you really trying to do it, then I'm gonna like I give you a hand like yo, I'ma look come do this, come to this studio, go to that studio, do this so you can your sound get better, you do that. Now that's if I like I said, if I see you serious about it though. This is one thing I noticed. You could bring anybody here that's like ever been on TV and it'll be a decent turnout. Like I just went to a Rod Digger show, you know what I'm saying? Not to knock her or nothing, but like she's 40 plus and she hasn't really been on the scene for a long time, but people came, supported her, knew all her words, but it's people right next to them that they might work with, might live with, you know, and they don't even listen to them for real. There's a Michigan fans here. Columbus people born and raised are Michigan fans, and it doesn't make sense to me. You know, we have nothing else, you know, we have no NBA team, we have no NFL team, all we have are the Buckeyes, and it's like, that's what we have as a, as a sense of us, our own. And we can't support that, be loyal to that. You want to, I, I understand, maybe you don't like football. Maybe you just don't want to like Ohio State. Maybe that's just not your style. That's not your team. I get it, you don't have to like the Buckeyes. But the fact that you like the rival, there's what, 200 and some other NCAA teams, but you go out of your way to like a rival. So that lets you know it's like a city of type of hate. You know what I mean? Like I gotta go against the grain type thing, but we don't have to be that way. We can love us. We from right here, what we are, or 
it's beautiful. We don't have to think that, oh, we gotta be here or we gotta go there to make it right here, you know what I mean? What we can do right here is, 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 is in our own city. We can make it our own. Everybody here wants to be the man and wants to have that name and they scared of the next man surpassing them and doing better than them when they not realizing you got rich and you got wealthy. You ain't always gotta be filthy rich, you can be rich, you can be wealthy. It's, it's levels to it. Just get where you get and ride your lane. Everybody's not gonna be wealthy, but you can be rich. Everybody gonna be rich, but they'll be wealthy. You know what I mean? If you don't know the difference, it's a big difference. I don't think it's gonna be one person. It might be one person that really opens the door, but we it's gonna have to be a force for it to work. At the end of the day, if you don't support nothing, if you don't got your city, then who do you got? Motherfuckers like, oh, niggas, fuck the lungs, I'm so love, bro. Hey, fuck this shit. That's because you focus on the wrong goddamn thing, son. You focus on the wrong thing. You so busy worried about that one nigga who may have hate on you. You may have a legit reason, but you, just by all that thought you done put on that one motherfucker, you done skip these 20 motherfuckers that, that, that goddamn adore you. Man, open your eyes up, player. There's just too much competition here. Like, niggas feel like Columbus, like, niggas like to play tug of war, like, oh, we doing this, or you ain't doing that. Like, just do what you do, and people gonna see it. Like, you ain't gotta downgrade nobody to pull yourself up. Like. The support system in the city is, has always been there. It's just, you feel me, like, you have to give the people something to support. That's what people be missing in the end too. Like, like you can't just be sitting here just putting out anything and just expecting motherfuckers to just be like, oh yeah, I, I rock with it. I just think that your presentation is everything. You know what I'm saying? I think that in, in life today, everything is about branding. And I think that people want to rep something that is wealthily branded. Something that they feel good repping. Something they feel good about. That's how it come in. When uh, your team is not winning, you still love your team, but you ain't talking about it. Your team is the champions, and you walking around with their jersey on and they their memorabilia on every day. So I just think that you have to be a champion in whatever it is you're doing, whether it's being an artist, rapper, singer, DJ, promoter. I just think that you just got to have the best presentation and be a champion to get people to come behind you and support you so there's no excuse. I ain't gonna lie, it ain't all on the support, it ain't all on the fans. It's our job, you know, to promote and market ourselves, right? So that they do fuck with us. I don't think that Columbus has to show more love. I think the artists, they self, gotta get out there and demand that love. Get out there with your peoples, man. Push your CD. These cats drop a CD and they homies got it. Like, like damn, where are you gonna get your CD from? You know what I mean? You gotta make these people want, want to hear you, want to support you. You gotta push that, that music in their ear, you know what I mean? Like. It start with their ear, you basically gotta go for their heart. You know what I mean? Motherfucker only gonna support you if they love you. That's simple and plain. I think if we make sure our presentation is straight, I think that the evolution of the underground music scene in Columbus will constantly build and constantly build and constantly build to the point to where it's gonna be underground shows here that artists are gonna be getting paid for and people are gonna be waiting in line for things of that nature. I can see it coming. They never gonna take us serious if we take ourselves serious. Niggas gotta change that dynamic, you know what I mean? And you will see how it'll change. Period. It'll change. It's gonna, it's gonna be a chain reaction. And people will start getting taken more serious, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to get it in their city, but they don't wanna do the work because they know everybody in the city and they feel like they're, you know, they're entitled to it. You gotta go in here and do the work. I don't care if you're from the south side or the east side, north side, west side. If you don't go out and touch these people outside your block, all your yes, man, you ain't gonna go nowhere. Like, before you even get to the music, my niggas, is how self-disciplined are you? Just period about life. Because this music shit is real. It's a job that you don't get paid for, bro. This is a full-time job that you work every day that you do not get paid for. You never know when you're gonna get paid for, if ever. Do you know what type of self-discipline that takes? That's not your everyday normal self-discipline. A lot of people say they want it, but a lot of people really don't want it. You know what I'm saying? They want the fame and fortune. And yeah, they don't really want that behind the scenes, behind that curtain work. It, it, it's kind of bad because all the rappers that are not really rappers get to be rappers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Facebook made it easy to be a rapper. YouTube made it easy to be a rapper. All the free stuff, SoundCloud, I think, um, it's still the difference between the rappers that pay to play and the rappers that just make it look good. We got some heat in Columbus, man. Cats it's just, 
the thing that really always held, hurts a lot of the younger artists, they don't have their business together. And you only get one time to get to that boardroom. When you get to that boardroom, you look like a bunch of BS. You know, it's like... <laughs> Once niggas know your name here, that's good. But you gotta make some moves outside of here, cause that's what they gonna respect. Yeah, everybody got IG, everybody got Facebook and all that type of shit, but it's not just about the internet. You gotta fucking hit the streets, you gotta hit them hard. Through the social media, I mean, like I said, you can you can be in your house all day 24 seven and not touch nobody or talk to nobody or put in no real work in. That's not what it's about. You gotta get out there, you gotta touch people, you gotta meet people, you gotta feel vibes. A lot of cats don't wanna fuck with cats because they don't know your vibe. I mean, they see a video of you or they see you post on Instagram, but when you get around a motherfucker, it'd be different because you'd be like, oh, you like that on Instagram, but when I'm around you, it's not like I thought it would be, you feel me? But I think that's when networking comes in hand, when a person is out able to see you networking with your team or how you move, whether you by yourself or not, able to carry yourself. I think networking is a major part of actually making this shit better. But there's definitely some boys out here that's, that's doing their thing. They just gotta take it to the next level. You gotta put that footwork in. You can't rely on that internet all the time. You got to get out here and, and pass your stuff out. You got to see a nigga take your flyer and drop it in front of you. You know what I'm saying? You wipe that baby off and give it to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta put that work in, man. I think rappers, they get stuck in that in that image. I'm I'm the best battle rapper, such and such likes my watch, or I'll fuck these mini bitches and none of that shit matters. Like you go out of town and it's it's new bitches that you ain't fucked. There's new niggas that rap better than you. Like you that you have no clue who you are. It's, it's new. So um I seen a lot of Columbus rappers have the biggest buzz and, and never leave their city. All right, Columbus. City moved in three hours. Cleveland, Cincinnati, Louisville, Pittsburgh, Detroit, Indianapolis. We go six hours. St. Louis, major city. Nashville, music city. Chicago, another music city. It's really only six hours to Charlotte. You think about it, seven at the most. Like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? And then that takes you to Philly. See, so, you know what I mean? It's like, if you aren't out here getting it, it's your fault. That's a tank of gas. A tank and a half try. That's 30, 40, that's 45, 50 bucks. For you to get to another city to touch the people, give them your CD, give them your product, let them know who you are. Like, oh yeah, that's nothing little homie. Yeah, he came here from Ohio, yeah, from Columbus. And he's represented. That's weekend trips. Get your hotel room. When you really grind out, you have your van. You sleep in the back of the van. Head off for a couple days, go to the club. Get you a couple bad chicks. Chicks gonna ride for you. And you just do your thing. The cats gonna do that. Right, man. I don't know how to do it, man. I can play, right, man. Everything. Six, anything within eight hours. You gonna sit at the crib. Wait for the homie to say yes to your song, or you gonna be on the road, on the phone with the homie. Oh, where you on, man? Man, we on our way to uh, Myrtle Beach, man. Damn, you always go, man. Y'all got a lot. Like, in real, in real life, really, in reality, nah, this is a ten dollars, ten five dollar trip. You get the hotel, it's a hundred and fifty dollar trip. Then we headed back. You used to be spending two hundred bucks. If your team, you up to 200 bucks, y'all got, you got a team you really down for it, 200 bucks to spread your brand somewhere else, that's a pair of jays. Those jays you waiting in line for, you know what I'm saying, and I'm a sneakerhead. Those pair of jays you waiting in line for, you could be in, from Columbus nine hours now, you could be in Memphis, you could be in all these places where you can get your name out here. What are you really doing with your time? I got it. I got a big fan base off the streets, for real, like, and, and, and social media, but mostly just streets, because I was just in the streets, I'm in the streets every day, like, in the club, that's where everybody go to, like, so I'm everywhere it's popping at, like, you feel me, I'm going to get on your nerve. every time y'all see me, y'all going to, it's, it's always going to be me everywhere, like, you feel me, I'm going to have baby me's out here, motherfuckers trying to sound like me, bro, like, it's just a way you got to set, bro, and, a bargain you gotta reach in and you gotta not look back at that shit. Like now it's just baby me. A lot of kids out there, so 
but you gotta just do what's catchy, do what's right, do, do make them talk about you, bro. If it's bad, if it's good, once they talk about you, they see that shit, they click your video, it's a view, they see that shit. The bro, they see, it's all that bad. They can talk about whatever they want to talk about. You just gotta stand the fuck up and be different. That's why I respect other niggas. Like, I respect everybody. Like, highlighting them, they making moves outside this bitch. Like, Doobie, he doing it big right now. I've been fucking with him since day one. Like, I respect that shit. Like, we need, we need more people to be doing that shit. You have to. You have to have to be in tune with DJs. You have to be in tune with hosts. Anybody that's doing something that could potentially get your music out there, you have to. Because how you know how your song plays in the club if you ain't got no way to get it played in the club? You have to build a relationship, bro. Build that relationship. So you build a relationship with somebody in the industry, they're more likely to work harder for you. Come prepared. You know what I'm saying? If you hand me a CD, like play this in the club right now. Like, nah, that's not how it works, it's technology now. You bring your flash drive, you supposed to be and holler at the DJ. Unless you cashing out, you know, some people come, like, huh, play this, I got like 50 for you, you know what I mean? It's always, it's always gonna be the cat that gonna do this and slide you 20, slide you 50, slide you 100, play they joint. But after that, what do you got after that? It's like, all right, cool, I took you 100 bucks. Thank you, you know what I'm saying? Here's your bar and a half that I'm gonna put on your joint. You know what I mean? You'll get spun real quick, you'll get your cores. Y'all gonna do this, you know, oh, your bottles, and then what? Some people like, man, I ain't about to, I ain't about to try to holler at that nigga, man. He, nah, he gonna be thinking I'm sweating. It ain't nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, do, do you wanna make it? Do you wanna get your shit out there, period? And we just build a relationship, you know, it's just, it's gonna, it's gonna build some more things. I might, I might be in Detroit or dating somewhere. Kinda like, what's, what's going on? What's happening in Columbus? Oh man, I got my homeboy Doobie Bands, man. He got his joint, bang. I got my man Zachariah Kane's joint, bang, boom. I got my homegirl Jay Esquire joint, boom. You know, I got, I got Luciano joint, boom. Where is it? I got Haji, boom. DJs, we talk. We all talk. I talk to cats all around the world, DJs. You're the industry. So when they say this is the $80 billion industry a year, they totaling everything. Them, them speakers that you wouldn't bought from uh, goddamn Sam Ash, all oh, that's considered, that's why it's the $80 billion industry. Because motherfuckers make money off this shit, right? You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So, so right now, like, we in the industry. So the thing about it is, what niggas from Columbus got to understand is, how do you get to the next levels? Get your uh, merchandising up, get everything up, and promo is the key. Everybody chasing distribution deals. A distribution deal ain't shit if you ain't got that promo, man. You can have the biggest distribution deal in the nation, but if a motherfucker don't know you, you're killing yourself again, because them labels look at you like, when we drop this shit online, that's motherfucker only did 5,000 views in six months. That's a horrible look. You just killed your deal already. So get promotion behind you, man. The biggest thing I can tell these cats, get promotion, stay true to yourself, stay true to your craft, man, and don't be afraid to be Columbus, man. I can't stress that enough, because I, I get so sick of hearing the, the trio raps, the auto tunes, the, man, be Columbus, man. We got our own flavor out here. When you walk Livingston Ave, when you walk Cleveland Ave, you can tell when a motherfucker really from here and when they not. You know what I mean? Be yourself, man. This is a movement. If y'all niggas want to start eating, we got to act a certain way when we go certain places, period. Your, your entourage, we don't need them on stage. We need them in that audience after the motherfucker. But we don't need 100 motherfuckers on stage. I can't even see who rap. You know what I'm saying? It's good for how the energy. Maybe on the last song, invite all your niggas up. Y'all just tear that motherfucker down. But to put on the show, the, the presentation, everything, maybe less than what's on stage. We need more of that energy in the crowd because the crowd feeds off the crowd. Act crazy as you want to during the songs, but let's not fuck up what we got going for. Because it really is a movement in Columbus, Ohio that could be taken advantage of underground, black and white. I ain't even no cast fan, but you cannot take what that man just did for Ohio 
and, and not even sports. If a motherfucker know anything about money, stock market, the trade market, any of that, the money he just goes for this state, he just made it possible for us, us, us little men down here, to make something. It's time to start opening local businesses and all that now, because now, the motherfucking industry is about to push money into Ohio. He just lifted our whole curse off the state. They keep saying Cleveland, he lifted the curse off the state. And if a motherfucker don't get in where they fit in right now, and, and ride that boat, just lost, man. To know that struggle that we've been through, especially LeBron and how he put that shit on his back end, it was a totally unselfish play on his on, on his end, regardless of what anybody say about him. He was on some unselfish shit, and he brought it back to the the the, uh, the state. And I feel it's one of the biggest accomplishments we have made in years. And I mean, like I said, I, I ain't even from Cleveland. I have nothing to do with the Cleveland Cavaliers. You feel me? But I am a fan of LeBron, and it made me happy just seeing them do that shit for a while, man. So I think it's big, and I think it's I think it's more to come. I think it opened up a floodgate for some shit. Cause not to mention the Buckeyes just took the championship the, the uh, year before. So I mean, it's like. We're just getting on that platform, man. It's only a matter of time for this music platform breakthrough and everybody out here for real. With the Cavs just winning the, the motherfucking championship, bro. I went to Cali. I was in Cali two weeks ago. The motherfuckers called me Ohio the whole time. That's all they give a fuck about. They act like Ohio was Florida. Man, I've been wanting, man, I've been wanting to get out there so bad, man. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what the fuck you in L.A.? You know what I'm saying? But I know what it is. My nigga that went out there and done something the unthinkable. So now Ohio to them is incredible. I love it. So it's like, let's take advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's start taking advantage of our opportunities. That's what luck is, bro. Being prepared for your opportunity. A lot of people don't know that. Luck is not luck. It's something that just runs and happens and walks in the street and you just tackle it. Luck is being prepared for when the opportunity arises. You are ready for it, period. And right now, Ohio, what we're doing is, is, is excellent timing, bro, because it's that time. You know what I'm saying? It's time for us to step it up, for real. We motherfucking emerging right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas is working. Like if you look, if you look around, bro, like niggas is really working, and not the fact that they just working, but they working with other artists. That that's one thing definitely hats off to Columbus on that, cause it's 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 artists and people around each other that couldn't kick it five to ten years ago. You feel me over some gang shit, whether it's some whatever type shit, and now you see. Oh, you, we was beefing back then, but you rap now? All oh, that shit, shit? Oh, let's, let's fuck around. All, right. All that shit be put to the back burner. So I done seen several instances of that. Several uh, of, my, of my close people, I'm mutual with everybody, but I done seen several instances of the music bringing it together. So I think as far as the sides connecting, I definitely think that's improving and getting better for sure. I think it's a lot more unity. So you feel me, cats are starting to, you feel me, stick together now. A lot more people starting to make music together, videos together. You feel me? Like different sides of town is coming together too, and that's definitely important, man. I see a lot of niggas linking up, and then that that that's carrying over to the crowd that's coming in. When back in the day, you got a big ass party, and then you know some shit break out with this side of town, that side of town, whatever. Now they really ain't doing that because they niggas is performing with these niggas. So now we all gotta be cool, like, cause you gonna be looking stupid for fighting with niggas who your people is done brung through. Definitely the music though. People people are more now like, damn, I like that music. I want to work with that dude. Oh, I drive up north to go to the studio. Or I drive out south or out east. You know what I'm saying? The music has definitely helped. Definitely, because it was, like I said, 10 years ago, it was bad. Like, no love, no love. It, shit, even homies was turning on homies. You know what I'm saying? So it was real bad, but the music has definitely Definitely, man, got us better. We like, we like this. We need to be like this. Right here, we still like this. From all the summer jams, you know, lately we've been having, and you know, local events we've been having, it's been looking like people have been trying to get together and support, whether they're performing or coming off as a support. And let's move forward as a unit. Strength is in numbers. We're going to need all these numbers when we get out there, because believe it or not, these other areas are going to be pissed off when we take off. You know what I'm saying? We can't be against each other and then they against us too. We gotta show some unity.
period. And a lot of people don't pay no attention to that. They come into the game like, I'm the shit, and I'm going to win, and that's what it is, and fuck everybody else. I don't need nobody. Be done rapping in six months. <laughs> six months. They be back at they day job, you know what I'm saying? Cutting hair or whatever the fuck they going to do. They be right back to that. The the main thing to do for this city, man, is be the city, support the city, get out there with the city. I see cats do shows, and then they leave when the next artist come up. Like then you ain't gonna support him like he just sat and watched your your case. You ain't gonna watch his. You know what I mean? I see. People out there doing drives for kids and the artists, well, it ain't got nothing to do with me. My so city though, you know what I mean? Take like a village to raise a family. These kids is our kids. We gotta raise these kids and teach them new. That's what it's gonna take for these artists. So, I mean, you gotta get in your community. You gotta be a part of that community, man. You gotta show your city you love them if you want that love back, you know what I mean? Life is give and take, you know what I mean? You give it, you get it back. I don't know two chains. I don't know Gucci man, none of them niggas. Like, I'm big fans of them, but shit. There's niggas here who's hot, like really hot, like not no no dick ride shit, but they actually got nice songs. They got a good, you know, they got a good image to them. So I feel like it's shit here that can be broke and ain't nobody doing it. So I stepped up to plate. So I've been dropping a couple shits, New Columbus. We up to number two now, like three is in the works. And I'm just gonna keep this shit pushing until niggas is on, man. Cause I'm trying, you know, like I'm fucking with I'm fucking with the niggas who fucking with me. I'm fucking with my city flat out. So even if I don't know you, this shit hot, I'm gonna reach out to you. So that's, that's what it is. I've been around a lot of niggas in the industry, bro. I've fucked with a lot of execs, bro. And honestly, they tell us we're too divided as a city for us to blow. Because when when a movement happens, it happens in waves, and it's not just this person that's gonna go when the when the movement happens. It's gonna be a wave of Columbus people that go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Ohio people that go when the wave comes. It's just going back on just, just niggas like continuing to fuck with each other. Like as long as that unity stays strong, you feel me, we gonna be strong as a as a state. You feel me as a whole. And like not even just with this music shit, just in general, just business in general. You feel me? So niggas just need to put their egos aside, fuck together, man. It can work a lot more smooth. Keep everybody together and can make it more stronger. We the last of left. Everybody else has been tapping through the West Coast, the Bay Area, we've just been fall and rise, we've seen New York sound all the way like South Beach. You know what I'm saying? I think we the only ones left. Um, and we got a good shot if we focus on that, if we focus on that. One person's not gonna get it. That don't mean you're not gonna get it because you feel like the one. Yeah, you might, but you still need a team of people. And I think the people that know that or think that about themselves even still rely on their teams or their machine. I feel like on a sense, even more than just music, um, on a sense of like branding, um, Boutiques, barbershops, all black owned businesses, I feel that it'll help music in a whole if everybody supported everybody in the community. If the community just basically supported each other, I think it'll help everything and everybody. So I definitely think that'll be something to help. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like if everybody played their position around here, though, because it's a lot of talent in not just rapping and singing and shit like that. Niggas just promoting shows, motherfuckers just DJing, motherfuckers just modeling, motherfuckers just promoting. All that shit takes a certain amount of talent. If everybody would play their position and start to wave, and once it go, anything and everything that somebody's doing excellent is gonna work because we have the juice. It was like shit, I don't rap, but, but, but. Like, what can I do to support? Easy, man. You know what I'm saying? Where, wherever you feel like you can help. You know what I'm saying? So if that's if that's something small as if you see a nigga out there grinding and he got a, a stack of flyers, take 10 of them bitches. You know what I'm saying? When you go to work, even if you ain't the talk to the type, just sit them bitches down the table. Motherfucker pick them up, oh well, motherfucker throw it away. You did your part. Everybody's little part count. They're gonna be more than enough room for everybody, you know what I'm saying? It can be, soon that, soon that door open, no matter who open it, everybody can go, everybody can go through it, but you gotta have your foot in the game, you gotta be serious right now. You gotta be at this time, it ain't, it ain't when it happened, oh, I'm about to rap now. You know, everybody gonna take it serious.
Motherfucker don't realize if one motherfucker make it, the doors is open for the city. If this one motherfucker make it, everybody in the city got the chance to eat. You know why? Because now the labels is looking at this city. The whole industry is looking at this city. Bro, if you deep anywhere, you see anything deep. For a group of niggas deep walking down this street right now, you know, who the fuck is that? They gonna be like, who the fuck is that? Like, yeah, it could be found out in a good way, it could be found out in a bad way, bro. But if they're all these niggas together, bro, damn, they right, they got a whole different way, act different. Uh, like, who they, where they from? Columbus. Oh, yeah, man, what's going on? What's they good call? And there's so many, everybody trying to do the same thing. If everybody on the same thing, we could take over more space in one time, treat this shit like motherfucker. Grab that photo, nigga. It's talent in this motherfucking city. You know what I'm saying? The only way it's gonna take off, we all come together, and it's gonna be where motherfuckers have to come to Columbus, and they're gonna see us a whole team down there. You feel me? Instead of everybody spaced out, but it's talent down here, dead ass. Now, all the forms of media need to come in too. The, the promoters need to take part in it, the radio stations need to take part in it, any local mags or papers. Everybody need to come together, need to be a conglomerate in it. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, bro, you and I both know, my nigga, if the shit jump tomorrow, and somebody blow every media outlet, every promoter, every rapper, every everything is going to be on their balls. Overnight. If I drop a song tomorrow with Kanye, and he comes to Columbus, and you see me and Kanye snapping together, and we swerving, this is my man right Nigga, every cousin, every family member, everybody that I ever touched in the world is going to reach out and want to be a part of it. Why not do it now? It's almost saying like when somebody passed away, like why wait till they gone? Why not reach out to the people that's doing shit now and start embracing the movement that's going on now? So when it gets to that point, people was already in position to be accepted and feel like, okay, they was there. They was there. It's a movement. Let's go. No, I got faith in my city, so I'm not going to say it's never going to happen. I got faith in my hometown. You know what I'm saying? We can do this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it got to happen, though. It, it got to happen. It's like, how many times are we going to keep doing the same shit and getting nowhere? That's like if you burn your hand, you put your hand in fire and it burns. How many times are you going to keep doing this shit and expecting a different result? You know what I'm saying? You just got to switch it up, man. I, I'm pretty sure... Our city can do it, man. We got a lot of people like y'all, like I said, coming together and doing different things. And all this works. All this helps us out. Uh, I just, yeah, our city can do it, though. Man. I love my city, man. How long is we going to stay divided and keep trying to, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, it's going to happen tomorrow? No, it's not, bro. We have to add it. It has, it has to come to a point where there is an elite. It's at the level of elite. Let's stop playing and stop acting like such and such ain't better and are more talented than such and such. Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? There's more motherfuckers here that's talented rapping-wise. There's more people that's more talented singing-wise. There's more motherfuckers that's here talented shooting videos-wise. There's more motherfuckers that's here talented DJing-wise. And there's more motherfuckers here that's talented doing flyers and promotion and wherever else. So if, if that's what it is, we got to stop acting like that ain't what it is and start supporting the motherfuckers that is really moving, that really got the potential to put us as a city in our music scene in a better position, flat out. And I ain't saying it's gotta be me, I ain't saying it's gotta be nobody that, I get, that I'm not affiliated with or been affiliated with, I'm just saying, period, we have to support the best. And that's the only way we're gonna get our respect here because when, it, when the door opens up, if we just let bullshit run out of it, they're gonna look at us like we a joke. If they really let the best creep through, and, and, and really stand up and grab the nuts for the, for the area, then for everybody else it's gonna be easy because the door is gonna be wide open. We gotta kick that motherfucker in, period. That's what's gotta happen. Oh. Everybody that rap, bro, I don't, I don't say nothing bad about nobody's music, bro. Common sense, that shit sucks, that shit sucks, bro, but keep working, bro. And I don't say nothing about nobody's music, bro. I do songs with everybody, bro. Sometimes I charge them niggas, sometimes I don't care. It's a lot of Columbus rappers. It's only a few, like, it's a lot that's bad, and it's a few that's excellent. Like, then it's, a, then it's that small portion that's all right, that's good. Mm -hmm. you know, that got, that got But everybody, potential. for real, for how for everybody needs to come together and we can work. Yeah, we can. Everybody can work. We can put every type of music to 
together, put the limits on the map, and everybody goes the other way. You tell me, like, we can just work. Doobie, you can bring eight, nine hundred, you know, to a, to a, to a show. He out, you know, he out here touring the country right now. A lot of cats don't know about him. You know what I mean? It's, it, it can happen, you know what I'm saying? FHSP, you know what I mean? They got a movement. People actually tattooing, you know, FHSP on their arm. You know, Ronald Luciano, he out here doing this thing. Every time he does a performance, you know, same thing. It's, it's cats out here who are actually getting it, who, who actually are making that move, you know what I mean? Shoot, Pac-Man, he doing this thing. Everybody know about Pac-Man, he out here doing this thing. He got featured with major artists, you know, and they got their movement mo going. So, it's there. We just got to realize it, you know what I mean? It, it, it can happen. Definitely can happen in 2016. There's a lot of talent here. There's a lot. There's a lot. Um, Elliot Trent is one who I feel like um, it's only a matter of time. I mean, there's, there's, there's artists that are here making waves. It's just, you know, I feel like it's a matter of time for where there's a light shined on our whole region, the Midwest, our whole state, you know, and our city. And once the door is open and the light is shining, it's only a matter of time for everybody. You feel me? A lot of people sleep on Columbus. You know, we got a lot of talent in Columbus. You know, like Columbus can really be on the map. You know, it's a second away from blowing. You know, I feel like if people come together and support, you know, I'm not saying everybody, because it's like everybody trying to rap now, but the main ones, you feel me, that's really out here working, I mean, it ain't hard to, show, to see who really out here putting in work, you know, is making moves. So I feel like, especially that right there, you're supposed to support that all the way. And at this point, like, everybody is wanting to be the boss, and, and which is fine, that's cool, but bosses make boss decisions. Bosses don't beef. Like, instead of us beefing, let's, let's find out how us two bosses can make this a boss situation. And, 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 and everybody still got their own movement and what they doing. But niggas is bossing up and, and, and breaking that wall down of, hey man, he from the north side. Hey man, he fuck with such and such and them. It's a movement. That's, that's, that's what I'll be looking forward to. I really want to see somebody make it. I don't give a fuck who it is. As long as they really from the city, I don't give a fuck who it is. I want to see that shit change the perception, you know, because you are who you are and we are from nothing. So make it something. 614 United. The biggest 614 underground hip hop concert to hit Columbus. All the major 614 artists will be in the building October 25th at Scully's. If your name ain't known, then stay your ass at home because you ain't working hard enough.
Told them I was looking for the bag, for the love of the cash, get it in, get it gone, we ain't had enough yet. Cooling in this bitch with the drink, we gon' sit smoking out of that switch, what you think, if you lit? The nigga talk wrong, he get punched in the shit, if it ain't about the cash, I ain't tryna hear it. I remember them days at the bottom when I told bro, I got a mind, never switch up. Stay dark, consistent, yes, a young nigga, flip it, that's how young nigga really came up. Laughing at the nigga, cause these niggas look stuck. That bitch over there look like she's talking shit. Came up from the nigga, ain't had no choice, but young nigga run it up. Run it up. I want my money, yeah. Flip it, I get it, yeah. I want my money, yeah. Flip it, I get it, flip it, I get it. I want my money, yeah. Flip it, I get it, yeah. I want my money, yeah. Flip it, I get it. Yeah.